Alright, Ace here once again. It cannot be Comic Con without me running to one of my old friends. Um, do I call you an ex professional boxer now? Are you retired? Okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> he say he says he's an anime guy, but this is a former professional boxer, Rex. How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. You know me. I love my anime. Always have hair for the Comic Con, the biggest comic event I think across Europe, probably even the world. Oh, so I thought I'd come check out, get some content, yeah. and see what it's saying. Nice, nice. All right. So my first question to you is, who is your favorite black anime character? Go put me right on the spot. Mm. I'm gonna say what's off my head right now, Miles Morales. <laughs> I like what he's doing. Um, oh, no, no, Miles Morales doesn't count as an anime character. I'm sorry. Let's go again. Oh, anime. Damn, anime, 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 you anime. Anime, 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 anime. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with the obvious one, Killer B from Naruto. Genzai Naruto wa Kyubi to taikutsu hayame no ketchaku minna ga taibou. Matteru oru tachi tottemo taikutsu taikutsu shinagi ni futari de taisou. Nice. Um, one of the most powerful guys, the Jinchiriki, strong. And um, yeah, one of the guys who's formidable. It's also, he's got a nice character. They portrayed him in a good, positive way. And as it shows who he stance is as the Jinchuriki, he's one of the best guys on the show. So yeah. Nice. All right, what is your favorite all-time anime? All-time anime, Naruto. You know, I started watching anime Dragon Ball in the 90s. I grew up in Dragon Ball, but I feel Naruto, the story, the character development, the power-ups, the upgrades, that stuff just caught me. How it's gone on for so long and how it just cumulated with all of the past events, the pre-events, the Hokagis, past and present. How it's still going now in Boruto, like, mm. it just captures me. Every time I see Naruto come up on my screen on the internet or I hear someone talk about Naruto, I feel like it's a part of me. I gotta get involved and okay. hear what they're saying. Look, you see today, yeah. the hat, the, the shoes. The drip. Love it, That's love Suzuki, it. You know, always representing. Okay, do you have a favorite anime opening? Do you know, that's a tough one because all animes, they just get you hyped. Mm. They get you, you know what the show is about, you know what's about to happen. Like, I like Death Note's opening because the dark, the gruesomeness, you got L, you got light, the dark, the light sides. Mm -hmm. um, people are going to die. And at the name of a right, someone's going to die. And in Death Note, it was all about who's going to die next. And, um, the opening of that show just got you ready to know. You don't know who it's going to be next, but someone's about to get it. <laughs> okay. Someone's going to get it. All right, and my last question for you, yeah. You've been kidnapped by some of the most evilest anime villains out there. You have to pick three characters from any anime. Who would you pick and why? Good or bad? It's up to you. Do you know what, yeah? I've, as an anime guy myself, I spent a lot of time thinking, who's the most powerful anime guys? Who can get the job done? And one person I'm going to say, first number one, would be... Faro Yugi, at him. Okay. Was that Millennium Puzzle? Do you okay. know what I mean? I did a review yeah. on this. The Millennium Puzzle, the power of the Pharaoh, the power of the gods, controls the Shadow Realm, can crush your mind, king of games, ultimate luck on his side. Flip a coin, nine out of ten times he's going to win that. That's a good so one. So Faro Yugi is number one. Mm -hmm. um, number two will be Madara. He just showed with his powers and abilities, he can wipe out an entire army force. I like this, I like this. Well, he's a, I'm an anime educated guy. Like, yeah, I've sat I like down this, and thought for a long time. I like, I like this. He wipes out a whole army on his own. Like that just shows his kind of power. He has the power of the tailed beast in him. He has um, the blood of Ashirama. Yeah. Ashirama cells. Um, so Madara, Madara would be my number two guy. And number three, anime. Anime or anything? Uh, anime, anime, anime. Do you know, I think with them two there, I think <laughs> that's that, that, enough. I think that gets the job done. <laughs> okay. I think that gets the job done. But if I gotta go with a third one. Just for the sake of it, let's just go for Bankai Ichiku Karasaki. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you know when he's got the when he's got the blades, he's got the hollow spirit in him. He's just another level. But I think Madara and Ferro Yugi get the job done. That's a very good list. That's get a good list. Anyway, so I go for them three guys. All right, thank you very much. And is there anything you want to plug while you're here? Um, if you're not on the plug, and it's for a time. Anime Steam striving, Comic Con just goes to show there's so much stuff out there. I spent a year in Japan in 2018, 2017, and there's animes out there that we don't even know about. There's animes that are out right now, which are big there, but they'll probably only get big here maybe three or four years later. And there's yeah. some animes that we don't even know about. So the anime world is booming. I advise everyone to go go to Google, 
fly out to Japan, go out to Asia, check out all the content and stuff that's there. Because this is just a fraction. This is the biggest event in London, but this is just a fraction of what's out there on the anime scene. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. That's it for today.